Hello team. Hey, Andre Campbell here. It's August uh, 15, 2018. This is my outlook on uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin versus the US dollar. What you're looking at here is the four hour time frame. And you can see over here from about um, July 7, July 25th, rather, uh, Bitcoin has fallen all the way down uh, over 2000 pips, came down to the uh, 5868 area. And right now it's looking like it's possibly going to make a move uh, back up. What goes down must go up. What goes up must come down. So looking here over here in real time right now where we are uh, right here, we can see this line right here at 647200, let's say. This line right here is a uh, major support and resistance area uh, right here as you can see. And price, when it came up a few times, hit this area and uh, fell back down, came up, fell back down, came up, fell back down. Usually three strikes us out. One, two, three, and looking for this quite possibly to break this area and continue on up. If it does, I'm looking for it to go right up here and gonna mark this about 687100. Let's say that just to uh, give it a few pips, a little distance. And of course, if it's able to break that, I'm looking for the next target to be right here. 7163.50, let's say about. And if it breaks that one, of course, there's gonna be pullbacks. Looking for it to go up to 7481.00, let's say. And that's a nice move up, a lot of pips right there. Now, I also want you to notice something because often to see what may happen in the future, we have to look back. And if you look back at this area right here, this is the last time it was in this area. Look what it did. It just went all through, boom, one, two, three. I uh, didn't even didn't even take a break until I got here to this area right here where the last target is of 74 8100 area. So quite possibly it may do that again and this is a lot of pips a nice move up <clears throat> to quite possibly catch this. Now some of you who follow me um you know I'd already said to be in if it broke this area and it's above and this is once again the 4 hour time frame. This candle has not opened and closed above yet. What I mean by open and close uh, like this candle right here. This candle, let me mark this. This is what I mean. This candle right here that the line is going through, this candle had opened and closed above. But that means it's not touching the yellow line at all. It's completely above it, being suspended. That's what I mean by close, open and close above. Now, if you were already in a stop loss, I would say to be safe, would be right below this candle right here, this area. And once again, this is the four hour time frame. Every candlestick represents four hours of time. Let's go down and look at a, a smaller time frame. Uh, here's the same view on the one hour. Now this one hour candle looks like it's gonna open and close above. And we'll see what happens at the end of the hour. I'm gonna go down to a 15 minute view. And here's a 15 minute view, 15 minute went up. It pulled back a little bit. Here's a little doji forming and it may move up there or quite possibly it may pull back down, test this area again before making a move on up. And as you can see over here, um, this was on 815, came up here, hit this support, hit this resistance areas at that time, fell back off, couldn't go anywhere, came back up, came back up through. So that's really a good look and a quite, you know, possibly it may make a move up. I'm gonna go back to the four hour view. Okay, what I want you to understand, if for some reason it cannot stay above this 64, 7200 area, I'm gonna be looking for the bears to take back over and for this thing to fall back down, quite possibly all the way back down to 58, 68, 50 area. So once again, if it could stay above, very simple, 64, 7200, just ride this puppy up, look for it to move up, continue to move up, the bears take back over, and here are the target lines, one, two, three. Uh, make your pips and you notice this area right here let me mark this area right here uh, last time it was here this is the area when it was coming down on august 4th we're consolidated between this area of 7163 let's say 50 and 6871 uh, let's say 40 it consolidated an area before it broke out so this may be the area of consolidation when it gets here or once again looking back over here when it got here in four hours it just went matter of fact this four hour candle just blasted through everything you know looking over 600 pips in that move and once again as you know if you trade bitcoin bitcoin is uh can be volatile but once you understand it uh it could be a very very 
uh, lucrative pair to trade. These yellow lines, I just get them from uh, Fibonacci. If you don't know, know how to use Fibonacci, definitely get into IML Academy. IML Academy is where the knowledge is. That's where you want to get the knowledge to understand how to mark your charts up. And uh, be certain to get into IML TV. IML TV gives you information like this. We have so many great educators that are educating people on how to navigate these markets. You know, various different current currency pairs, various different styles of trading. There's a thousand different ways to trade. You're looking for one of them that makes sense to you. Uh, keep your trading simple. Most people, you know, I believe overcomplicate their trading like I used to do. So many different indicators, so many different this. I'm a price action trader. I don't predict the market. I just go by price action where the market is showing me. And then I make uh, calculated moves from there so we could take small losses and uh, bigger gains. An example, what I'm saying to you is this. Let's go into the five-minute time frame, right? Um, let's say for some reason you think, you know what, um, price, this white line right here, it's now at 65 uh, 66 at the time of this recording. Let's say for some reason you think it's going to stay above this area, this 64, 7200 area. And you say, you know what, I'm going to jump in and buy. Well, then all you would do then is just put your stop loss, you know, maybe in this case, if you're even under five minute, it just move your stop loss up close enough to where your risk is small. Let's say right here, right below the line of support. So then you're only risking a small amount of pips. And then your next target up would be what? It would be here. So your risk to reward is great because you're looking to gain up here to this uh, 68, 71, let's say 20 area, then more than you're willing to lose uh, going here. As I showed you there, here's a quite possibly the next target on up. So that's really all about trading is, you know, taking small risks and uh, bigger wins, keep your risk to reward uh, nice and uh, you will profit and you will make money in this market. Once again, these are just my ideals. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is written in stone. Uh, go by your own analysis also. Once again, always remember to use proper risk management on each and every trade. And uh, that's the difference, you know, I've found and what's helped me is that the best traders are just excellent managers of risk. That's really the key. You know, how well can you manage risk? And once again, this is a four-hour outlook, my outlook on the BTC USD. Hey, once again, it's Andre and Will You Prosperity in these markets and your trading. And as always, I'm Will You Prosperity in life and in business.